France are, and they're up by two. Chance to make it three, and again, three has only been the biggest margin of the lead for either side, but it would be a crucial time to do it as that ball did ask a lot of Cam Allen as we approach five and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. But Geelong do take that three-goal lead now. Ten four is the run in favour of Geelong. Dembrowskis has been quite influential since coming on. And Geelong come away with it again. Oh, Commons, he got a little stuck out there, didn't he? Had to he attempt did. at the pass. Alan sinks that for Geelong. Four goals the margin. Biggest lead of the game to date. Yeah, and I thought this change might, might be coming just due to the, the point system. Getting Jake Hedricks back in there as um, Cam Allen starts to have some massive impact. But it also means that Connor Lilly comes on into goal attack. So let's see what he can do. The, the same thing if he gets his shot going. Um, we saw him at the end of the men's game just over come on and deliver some great movement. Um, and it is something that he's certainly capable of. So we'll see how he can connect in with um, Richardson and see whether they can bring the ball into the post. Another great goal from Cam Allen. Margin now five. Could this be the championship quarter for the Cougars? Almost another held ball and great hands. Geelong have just managed to gain the ball under some extraordinary circumstances this quarter as <laughs> Sandra Woods just, again, like she did earlier in the game, wants to Usher that ball as close to the goalpost as possible. Margin now, six. I think Parkville haven't had so much pressure on them for a really long time, so it's going to be interesting to see how they can uh, deal with what it is that's going on, this six-goal deficit that they've got now, and possibly seven. So now seven, the margin but really probably going to need to look at how they can win some ball back because they haven't been able to get a lot of ball in this, in this term. No side has got within 12 goals of the Panthers this season. To think they're staring down the barrel of a six-goal margin in the grand final is something not many would have predicted. Woods. Just a reset to Noonan. Woods just waits for Bragg to arrive and offensive yeah. contact there on Zana Woods. Yeah, just getting her body in, in, into Drew that patch and Park will come away with it. But they want to make sure that they can score this and, and take the ball to the post. This is the one that's going to keep them in, in the game. Great drive from um, Riley Richardson there, just a circle edge and able to reset Amy Starzer with the ball inside the circle, but great hold from Connor Lilly. Nice, smart angle, use of the body. is able to hold out uh, Jake Dambrowskis there and, and put the ball away. Lilly again. He's three from three since coming onto the court and that's the last three goals for the Panthers. They reduce the margin to four. Just over two minutes until the last change. Bragg. And heavy clash between Georgette Patch and Jake Noonan. And And a miss from Woods. Just mop it up. Haven't given away a lot of ball in this third quarter. Hedrick's just giving away some sloppy, simple penalties just to give Zana Woods another shot. And she hasn't really looked confident since a couple of those early misses earlier on as well. So, you know, something he probably wants to 
keep track of and, and, and remember. I'd, I'd be getting my hand up over a shot deliberately and may have to deal with the extra height that she's probably not going to be used to from, from State League. You know, Jake's, I think, 6'3", six, 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 it's, it's a lot of hands to deal with. So, you know, get your hand up over the shot and, and put a little bit of panic or worry into the goalers thought process. Great shot from Starza, though. Geelong, oh Richardson, he had to think about it. And that was just sweet transition from Geelong. 15 from 16 in this quarter alone for Cam Allen. 35 for the game, it's mightily impressive. Last minute to go in this third quarter. And Starter doesn't want to shoot from that distance. Smart work there from Lee. He's just noticed that Sokolsky's just trying to find where Starza is all the time. So if he can put himself in the right spot. And now opened himself up a couple of times to get the easy ball flat underneath the post. Cougars, do they want to sort of take some time off the clock here or do they want to score quickly and force the Panthers? And, uh, a bit of a late call there on Jake Hedricks. Yeah, slightly unlucky, I think, on that one. But leaving Zana Woods with the shot, and she does put it through. And Parkfield center pass. I'll hold on to this maybe just less than three seconds to go. <laughs> a little bit of a mess around there from Jake Noonan. Um, but that is the end of the third quarter. So an 18-13 third term in favor of Geelong Cougars gives them a handy 42-37 to lead over at the Parkville Panthers. We'll be back right after this with the final quarter in the Premier Mixed Grand Final.
So Connor Lilly with the first goal of the last quarter in the Premier Mix Grand Final for 2022. Brings the margin back to four. Cougars, though, in the box seat at the minute. Riley Richardson, I reckon, a little bit unlucky on that one. Uh, Geelong Cougars just sitting and waiting for the ball to, to come to them, and that's dangerous. But Casey Adamson with, with the hands, and Marco Rawlings takes it back as the ball goes cross court. Uh, Connor Lilly knew as soon as that ball left his hands that Luke Marco Rawlings was going to eat it right up. Stars are nine from 14 to three quarter time. Brody Roberts left the game at 24 from 33. Connor Lilly four from four in the final minutes of that third quarter. Cam Allen 35 from 36. Phenomenal in a grand final and Wood seven from 11 at 64% to three quarter time. As Woods now just makes it all their own. Great work then from Lily just to get himself into a nice spot, block out the big body of Marco Rawlings and you know, protect, protect the space and the ball and able to sink the shot as well. Marco Rawlings to Noonan. Woods swings it to the pocket for Bragg. Good screen there from Alum. Woods. Nine from 13 for the game now. But she looks like she's found that shot again. Does seem to be coming out of the, that change, uh, the change of ends and with a little bit of confidence um, asking for the ball. Let me put the shot up. Oh, that's the second miss of the quarter for Lily. Three from five. Makes it four from six. And that's probably the little bit, the little bit of danger that you have sometimes as, as a young goaler is that you're just not focused on and making sure that those balls that are there from underneath the ring that they that they do actually go through. You still have to work hard and make sure that it's that it's on. But good pull then from Cam Allen to get the penalty. And Zana Woods just looks confident and finishes it off. She's six from seven in the second half, so certainly. Coming home strong. Great dodge there from Starza on the baseline. Just short on the shot. Marco Rawlings will take it. Great patience from Geelong, just able to work the ball down to the transverse line and, and into the circle. But Jake Noonan lets one slip and Parkville have the ball, trying to bring the ball back down the court. Chance for the Panthers to make some inroads. Margins five, definitely doable from here. Good work from Connor Lilly, just taking on the on the body then of Luke Marco Rawlings to, to cause the penalty and you know, has the confidence to put that ball up. But interestingly enough, another another change for Cougars. Maybe just trying to run the, the legs down. It, I think it was a, a great change for Geelong when Dan Browsis came on earlier. I think that started their run. He gave some great movement through the middle in attack. His hand to a few balls in defence that Cam Mallow in particular were able to convert and Adamson just drops the ball. Those errors are going to be costly in the end in a game that's so close.
Woods. Noonan. Oh, Patch gets a hand to a ball intended for Allen, but now Woods again. How many goals has she shot this quarter from that exact same place? Oh, Taylor nearly with that one. Kind of Lily, he didn't gain much advantage by passing that ball back out to Richardson. Yeah, I also think Richardson was just not fully balanced there to take the ball. But nice, bad away from from Lily trying to get him get the ball back really after the error came from that front end. Seven forty-two in favour of the Cougars. Eight and a half minutes remaining in this match. It's a good lead. Is it enough? We'll soon find Panthers calling for a hold on that ball from Woods. This is just his second goal for the game. And the Panthers heading to attack. Lily now. Stars up. Great hold there from Connolly. Nice and smart. Let's does a throw the ball across the circle. Keeps the body space and is able to open himself up and sink the shot there. So, now cleaning the ball again. Yeah, Nathan Beckley calls time just to have the ball wiped down. It is a little warm in. in here as well, like my hands are a little clammy. A little clammy. <laughs> They're normally a little clammy. Had that as, as an issue as a player. Always wiping, <laughs> wiping wet shorts already with wet hands. Now in the pocket, Woods. Just. Finds her way in and then finds Alum. 48 43, we're over the halfway mark. Cougars lead the Panthers. Great shot from Connor Lilly. Brings the margin back to four. Jake Noonan nearly hits the, hits the deck, trying to squeeze through a space. But Zana Woods, great ball movement there from her. And Cougars with the ball on the outside. Put it in underneath the post to Alum and pushes out the margin to five. Richardson they have to find each other. Eventually, the goal and Stars' first goal for the last quarter. Cougars, though, really just need a score of their own for these last six minutes. Oh, shot from Zana Woods. <laughs> Breathes a sigh of relief as well. Has <laughs> uh, a little bit of a, a, a breath and a look at Jake Noonan. But great work from Parkfield getting the ball into the circle quick just to put the score pressure back on and make sure Geelong know that they're still there and they've got to actually score some goals to, to take it out. Going to need three turnovers now to get these five goals. And there's one. Need to convert to the Panthers. Starza now out of the circle. Starza wants it all her own way. Oh, just rims out. 
I'll keep the ball. <laughs> Quick play on Dan Brask is still wondering what's happening. But Parkville unable to score it, but have it a penalty just inside the circle. Dan Braskis is out of play. And uh, Sikulski's literally got her hands wrapped around Connor Lilly then. I think it like, was a really hug. lovely moment. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> but he's able to refocus and, put, and puts that um, through the ring and now have a chance to uh, take the centre pass and maybe get it back to two. Richardson just... He's very quick to try and angle his body to the top of that circle and be there first. Brauskas, just a little shrug of the shoulders. But Lily, 10 from 12 in this last quarter, margin back to two. Great confident shot there from Lily. And this is when the pressure's probably going to be on, on Geelong. And they get the, they get the call. I'm a, I'm a little bit with Jake Noonan on that one. I'm not sure that there was a, a call. Pressure's probably going to be on in, in, on in that part. Right in front of Justin Barnes. But Parkman will throw the ball across the court. Sana Woods with the, with the tap. Want to be careful trying to get this ball through the court, but chance to bring it back. One goal. Oh. Oh. Geelong just win that ball back when they need it. And three and a half minutes remaining. They lead by two. Want to make sure of this play down court. Alum now. It's off, but he gets the rebound. Misses again. And Parkville Panthers still have another chance. Layden and Staza just work at 1 2. It's short. This is resembling, I mean, <laughs> week one of the Australian Open at the minute. <laughs> it's not pretty. I'm called again for another towel. It's been a topic of conversation tonight as Dambrowskis comes from the court and Jared Murphy. Jared Murphy return, returns to the court, maybe just looking to inject some steady hands and you know some brain on what's going on, like some brain pressure and what that might look like you know Connor Lilly had started to find the body on Jake Dambraskis and opened himself Cam Allen gets the goal and pushes it out to three with a Parkville centre to come 220 remaining three goals the margin Lily with the penalty shot. And we're going to get the tail out again. <laughs> oh, where's that mop? The oh. mop that was the highlight of Team Girls Cup on the weekend. No sponsorship deal here for M League. Not yet. We'll work on it. <laughs> it has been a humid day in Melbourne. And it's been... Hot on the court, Geelong. Two, two minutes remaining, still anyone's game. Geelong have been in control for most of this last half. However slight. Possession call to Woods. Can she nail this shot? Just off target. Her first miss of the last quarter, Zana Woods. Panthers have a chance to bring it back again. There's pressure on the pass from Richardson. But Panthers will have the throw in. All of a sudden, the voices on the sidelines, the intensity has picked up both ends. Brody Roberts is out of his seat. Right. Um, oh, Colin Lilly drags it back in. Confident with the shots. Of course, he gives away the cheap penalty. And let's Lily have another shot to bring it back to one. Set with a pass. 
with about a minute remaining, what do you do now? Score quickly and put the pressure on? Or? Uh, yeah, for sure. Richardson on the floor. I wonder whether we're going to get a wide as well. Richardson, it was a quick ball into Lily. Saw the space open up at the back, and we are all tied up. 51 apiece. 42 seconds remaining. Geelong Cougars with the ball in hand. I have to say, I didn't see when the margin was out to seven, and I did not see this one coming. Could we be headed to extra time oh, again? Possibly. This one's going to sink for Cam Allen, and it gives Park with the opportunity to bring it back to level with 23 seconds on the clock. Pressure on Parkville now to score this. 18 seconds remaining. Richardson. Lily gets free. It's offline. Skakulski with the rebound. Possession to the Cougars, and they're going to do it, Geelong Cougars. After a frenetic final few minutes and a great comeback from the Panthers, the Cougars have done it 52 to 51. After what we thought was a bit of a stutter in the first half, 24 apiece heading into that main break. It was an 18-13 third term to the Cougars, but the Panthers came home like the team that they are. 52-51 in the end. Some closing thoughts from you, Dan Cook. Yeah, I think the, the last couple of minutes really just showed the possible uh, ability or uh, you know, injection of great netball that, that we're probably looking for for the rest of the game. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 a bit, I'm a bit shocked that all of a sudden we got it back to one goal and we just got to go through all of that. Um, what an enjoyable finish to the night, really, and get everyone out of their seats and uh, watching some nail-biting netball. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the coverage of the 2022 M League Summer Series Grand Finals. Three Grand Finals tonight, the 15 and under boys, the Premier Men's, and then the Premier Mixed. Stay tuned for the presentation the last presentations of the night. Thanks for your company wherever you are and around the world. I've been Michael Hutchinson for Vimna TV. Thanks to Dan Cook and Kira Austin earlier. And uh, hopefully we'll do this all again for the 2022 season that will start hopefully in September later this year. And Cam Allen, he made that Pete alongside former teammate, now Adelaide Thunderbird, Al McDonald. Better shot that time. And it's with the Zana Woods. <laughs> Breathes of relief as well. I think it like, was a really hug. lovely moment. Oh, just, <laughs> but he's able probably going to be on on Geelong, and they get the they get the call. Might look like. You know, Connor Lilly had started to find the body on Jake Dambraskis and opened himself up. But Cam Allen. Sink for Cam Allen, and it gives Park for the opportunity to bring it back to level. Aiming. Richardson. Lily gets free. It's offline. It's offline. Skakulski with the rebound. Possession to the Cougars, and they're going to do it, Geelong Cougars. After a frenetic final few minutes, 
and a great comeback from the Parkville Panthers. The Cougars have done it 52 to 51 and the season MVP alongside former teammate, now Adelaide Thunderbird, Al McDonald.